you a little bit more about our 1973 Mustang convertible. Uh, this is a really exciting car for us to have. One that's really quite rare in the uh, Mustang world. Number one being the final year of the Mustang V8s that were ever offered. Moreover, this car represents the highest engine package option you can get and it's a very rare four-speed car with air conditioning. Uh, if we look at all the options in total, uh, Ford never made a Mach 1 convertible uh, throughout its entire run of Mach 1. So if one wanted a dynamo sports car but still wanted to not sacrifice the drop top, you would have had to special order your car. This car comes with a full instrumentation package with an in-dash tack. Obviously we mentioned the four speed, the high output 351 V8 engine option, competition suspension. Uh, they even special ordered this with a uh, sport mirror package which would have been standard equipment on a Mach 1. Uh, in this case it would have been a special order option to have color coded sport mirrors. And, and then even in the rear axle ratio of this car, being as sporty as it is, this one came factory equipped with a 325 traction lock rear end. And then of course, power disc brakes, power steering, power top. Um, and it's just an excellent car. This particular one comes with the history of having only one owner from new. And uh, if you check on our website, we've got some photographs of uh, the day that the gentleman sat down and ordered this from Tunis Ford. Um, and when he ordered it, uh, everything that they hand wrote to send into the factory to say how they wanted it equipped is right on there. And uh, all that factory documentation is still included, including the original window sticker when it arrived at the Ford dealership when he, from, when he took delivery. Uh, we're going to show you the top and operation here real quick. Let me just get it unlatched and then we'll take you for, for a ride. Just going to release the front uh, latches here at the front header bow. Power top switch uh, located here. We're just going to watch it fold back for my cameraman. Let that sit in place. This just gets the latches out of the way. We do believe this is the original boot cover. So we'll get it snapped into place. Back 
nobody's added any snaps to it. It's a common occurrence. This one still fits real nice and easy and not a lot of, a lot of headache at all. I'm holding in my hand a copy of the deluxe monitor report that's going to come with this car and again just to help authenticate that 351 four valve engine along with its traction lock rear end and the four speed manual transmission not even counting the rear end just the engine transmission options it's one of less than 300 made and the medium bright yellow black combination less than one of 500 ever made so an extremely rare car for a final edition mustang and then obviously you know these little options like your remote mirror again the dash tachometer uh, this car showing 6,700 miles, which we haven't been able to authenticate as either since restoration or it may have just turned over one time. Um, all the gauges in this car are working, uh, one exception as we started up here. Um, don't get a lot, of, a lot of play from the alternator, but it does seem to be giving us a bit of a response. Uh, <clears throat> oil pressure, uh, water temperature, uh, radio's been changed. Uh, this car is AC equipped, although uh, as we enter the fall months, uh, we'll be honest to tell you that the uh, uh, AC is not blowing as cold as it should. Uh, you're welcome to contact us further about that. Uh, one interesting note on the four-speed cars, which a lot of guys probably deactivate, is when we go to shut this vehicle off, um, this does have to be uh, with a reverse lockout, which is still fully functional as well. Um, this car, uh, being with the same owner since 2005, he did take the liberties of um, restoring this car in approximately 1993. Uh, at D&D Automotive was a, his choice of engine restores, uh, the same group that actually did the paint and body work car was totally stripped, acid washed, fully prepped and painted all over again. So the paint on it is actually quite remarkable even now that it's already 20 years old. Um, again, the first gear. Um, the neat thing about the engine, uh, a lot of critics would say the you know 1973 engine um, kind of lost all of its love as far as the horsepower for the horsepower junkies out there. When he incorporated the engine overhaul, completely uh, rebuilt inside and out, polished crank, uh, new pistons and rings, of course, valves, uh, and it really runs like a top. Uh, this car is not a disappointment, particularly because of the four-speed transmission. Uh, it really pulls hard, and it's going to be no disappointment for the guys that's looking for a nice, rare car, uh, but actually has a lot of horsepower to boot. Um, it's uh, just really well done. Uh, uh, we believe that Fred, original owner, sold this car in, in uh, approximately 2005, um, and then the second owner took possession and kept it ever since. Um, but I promise you going through the gears, which I didn't get to do there for, uh, for the sake of the video, but uh, really ample power, really, really good torque, and uh, we'd really encourage you to take a closer look at it uh, on our website. We've tried to highlight some of the uh, you know, spot welds along the rocker panels and the date-coated metal components and such, so uh, take a look at it at uh, stlouiscarmuseum.com, and uh, absolutely call questions uh, if you have any. Thanks for watching.